Hello, you guys are coming with me today because I'm setting up, can you see, a Seb's department. I'm being a bit of a sweetie. Um, the, normally I spend maximum two hours a week having one meeting a week with uh, my head of lettings. But at the moment we're setting up uh, some of the service departments and they're a little bit... I don't, overwhelmed is not the right word, but they've got a lot of work on because they're running a pretty busy portfolio anyway, excuse me. We're going to work at the same time as uh, do videos. Um, can you tell my work ethic? Um, it's fun working with me at all times because <laughs> I don't stop and I kind of don't I kind of don't quite understand when other people stop and have a little moment of a breather but there you go you've got to learn everyone else's style haven't you so um, I just thought I'd come in and give them a wee hand so that they they can just move things on a little bit further so this is on a Sunday one of the things I was thinking about whoops maybe I should stop for a moment hang on there we go right one of the things I was thinking about on service apartments for you guys to consider before you decide to do them is sp um, speed of response. So we have um, as advertised on Airbnb and we also have as advertised on booking.com and um, then we have a channel manager. So for example, if, if one person um, actually uh, pays for an Airbnb, then obviously you, you immediately want it booked off, uh, blocked off on booking.com because then uh, nobody on booking.com uh, um, then books it and then gets kind of frustrated because you turn around and say, I'm sorry, it's not available, even though it looked like it was available online. So we use a channel manager. It begins with an X. I'll, I'll do it in another video. I'll tell you guys about it. But speed of response, because of course, this is the day, this is the internet age. So people don't expect, like my guys don't work Sundays and they only work alternate Saturdays, but people don't expect to wait. There's, so on Airbnb, there's a very short time period and you will get rated down if you don't uh, respond in time. So suddenly you're turning in a 24 seven business, aren't you? So before you decide to take on service departments, think about the resourcing of that. Is there a virtual assistant that you can use to teach to do this, to hand it on, or a team of virtual assistants so that you know your team don't need to be looking at their uh, mobile phones for work on a Sunday afternoon because they'll get rated down if they don't respond in time. So think about how you might outsource that. And one of the ways that we would do it is outsource it to upwork.com and find a team of virtual assistants to be able to accept bookings. Because basically, um, we accept all bookings. So all it is is a, a very quick human response. But if you can't do that, well, you can do that, so, so do it. But if you decide not to do it, just be conscious this is a 24-7 business and it might not be something you want to take on. Think it through. It's all about financial freedom, isn't it? It's about time and money. Um, and so what we always do at the beginning is we do it ourselves so that we can understand the process and then we outsource it. And we're at the stage we've got oh, five now up and running. So now we've understood the processes, the glitches and all the rest of it. Now we're outsourcing the front end and going much more automatic. Um, so now my team will have a little bit more time. So basically we practiced everything, which is why my team are going, Sue's help. And I'm in here on a Sunday helping, which is like old school. It's like, I feel like it was when, at the beginning when I set up my portfolio and I did everything myself. And now what we're going to do is automate and outsource to third parties some of the stuff that my team don't need to cover. Like Josh on a Saturday night, um, the, the guys were supposed to check into the service department at 3.30. They ended up coming at 7.30 and he had to disrupt a family dinner. So that kind of thing we're now outsourcing. So 24-7 do it learn it and then outsource it is the answer and we use upwork.com to find the right people for us hope that helps see you soon bye